Hello and welcome. In this video, I will describe how to use the visualizations on the Salam Digital Primary Resources webpage to identify digitized primary sources related to the history of Latin America and the Caribbean, available through open access online collections. To begin, let's navigate to the Salam website. In your browser's address bar, type the following, salalm.org. This is the home page of the Salam website. Salam is the acronym for the Seminar for the Acquisition of Latin American Library Materials. The membership provides research services in the form of information, information resources, and discovery tools to support the research and teaching of Latin America, Iberia, and the Caribbean. To navigate to the Digital Primary Resources page, look to the string of drop-down options at the top, click on the Resources tab, scroll down to Digital Primary Resources, and select. What comes up is the Salam Digital Primary Resources page. The short text at the top describes basic information about the database of digitized collections that the page visualizations draw upon, how the information is structured, and how to submit candidate collections for inclusion into the database. Visitors to the web page can submit questions, comments, and candidate collections to the editorial board by clicking the hyperlink here. This live link will take you to an online submission form. Users may fill in the appropriate information into these empty fields and submit using the button at the bottom of the page. After submitting the form, you will need to use your browser's back key to return to the Digital Primary Resources web page. Let's look at the visualizations. These are visualizations generated by Tableau. There are five tabs in this Tableau workbook. The top facing tab is the dashboard followed by Collections List, Map of Collections, Country Filter, and Format Filter. The visualizations are compressed on this web page and their size ultimately depends on your device and screen, but you can click on each of the tabs to bring up its content and interact with it as it appears here. You can scroll, select, deselect, Enlarge, and so forth. For the best experience using the visualizations, I recommend that you enlarge them to full screen size. You do this by clicking on the Enlarge screen icon in the bottom right corner of the visualizations box. This will put the visualizations into full screen view. You can exit from this full screen view at any time by pressing the escape key. In this full screen view, you can switch between the five tabs as you did before. The full screen view also allows you to use the dashboard tab to its fullest extent. The power of the dashboard allows the user to use the two adjacent filter boxes called Collection Content by Country and Collections by Format Genre to create subsets of the collection list to the left. For example, to see collections related only to the country of Argentina, go to the Collection Content by Country box and select Argentina. This action will isolate the 18 rows of the collection list and three rows of the format genre box as well. The collections list isolate group immediately gives the user the 18 collections, which are subgrouped 
as 11 collections of digitized historical texts, six collections of mixed media format, and one collection of visual materials. You can further isolate the collection list by clicking on one of the subcategories of the Format Genre box. You can return to the full list by either second clicking on the highlighted selections or you can click on the reset icon in the lower right hand corner. The interaction of filters in the collection list works only on the dashboard tab. The simple left and right arrows at the bottom right are undo and redo commands. Clicking again on the full screen icon will escape the full screen view, recompress the visualizations, and return you to the digital primary resources page as before. With the visualizations compressed again, notice that additional icons appear at the bottom of the box. There is an icon that will allow you to download the database data in a CSV file format. Next to it is an icon that will allow you to share or embed these visualizations from the Tableau public server. I hope that this overview serves to make the Salam Digital Primary Resources Database a more approachable discovery tool. The Salam Subcommittee looks forward to receiving your suggestions, comments, and candidate collections of digitized primary sources. Thank you for your attention and have a great day.